everyone, I'm Donna Stellhorn, your Practical Astrologer, and I'm also the author of the video course, How to Read the Tarot the Natural Way. And today we are doing a pick of card reading for the question of, are we compatible? And of course, this is uh, alluding to the idea that you are interested in someone and you want to know if the two of you are compatible. So as we do this question, first of all, you do want to focus on the object of your desire, that person. And then second, this is basically a yes, no reading. And so when we get a right side up card, uh, it will be the reasons it's a yes. And when we get an upside down card, it is the reasons it's a no. And so uh, there'll be, uh, this will be split into chapters. Chapters, and so you can jump to your card. So right now, focus on the object of your desire. Ask the question in your mind, are we compatible? And then pick a card, one, two, or three. All right, card number one for the question, are we compatible? And we get a yes. So what really, really interesting card, because what we have here is the Eight of Cups. And so the Eight of Cups shows a person who is actually leaving something that they felt comfortable with and going into something that's a harder road. This could mean that there is compatibility here, but you're going to have to grow. You're going to have to change. You're going to have to go to that person's experience versus having them come to you. We also do see that there is an eclipse going on in this, and that means a big change for you. That means to, to really get that compatibility, you may have to leave some parts of what you have considered safe and familiar behind. So is this the easiest thing? I don't think so, because that looks like a pretty rugged terrain that this person has to go through. Is it worth it? That's a question you have to answer for yourself. Card number two for Are We Compatible? And we get a resounding yes. And this is a really lovely card. It's the Page of Pentacles. And so this card says that there are things that you both value that are compatible. And what you want to do is elevate those. You see how he holds the pentacle so high, just on the tip of his fingers. And so that is very much about looking at the things that are very much the same in the two of you and elevating those in importance. And so, you know, you may love bowling and, and he loves golf and those two things may not be compatible, but if you both say, we, we love personal sports, we love sports where we have to challenge ourselves, now you have something in common. And so that is the thing to be focusing on and it is also, because it's a page, it is about having open communication with each other about things and to look at things from a very innocent standpoint, you know, to not be jaded in this process, but to look at things like they're going to be an adventure. Card number three for Are We Compatible? And you get the Ace of Pentacles, but upside down. Now, an upside down card says, no, there are really substantial differences between the two of you. So an upside down card means, why are you not compatible? And that is, again, Ace of Pentacles here. And so that could mean that your financial uh, lives are very, very different. It might mean that that person is not responsible for their money and you are. And so that's a basic uh, incompatibility. Perhaps they have a lot of debt. And so that could be something that weighs down on you or they have a very low credit score, which would affect how you uh, get a place to live how, you know, how they can get a job. So there could be something that is a, a hidden thing because most people don't say right off the bat their financial situation or don't give you their credit score when they're dating. So, but this is the possibility that this is a reason that you're not compatible. Now, could you help each other with this? Yes, because there's still a pretty optimistic card, but it's going to take a lot of communication. And if they're their uh, their incompatibility on the financial side is been really long term. It would take an awful lot of work to have that compatibility, and of course, as I'm talking about this, 
It could be you that are not handling your finances well, and they are, and then you would bring down the relationship because of your own credit score. And so if that's the case, that's something you can change, that you can work on. So, but that's the reason that you are not compatible. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Learning to read the tarot is a great skill to have. With this course, you would learn how to give accurate readings, make better decisions, and to create a business that helps others. This course has more than 100 videos that teaches you how to enter the card itself and really feel that information, to really be part of what's going on so you don't have to memorize a book. Check out the link in the description to get more information.